Hi, I hope you're well. I really hope you've had a good week and that you've been looking after yourself. Well, in this week's vlog, we have to keep on going, but why? Find out what vegetable keeps on going whilst I'm cooking it on the stove and how I got it. And finally, what is going in my journal this week? It's a brand new spot for me. So we are leaving. Where are we leaving? We're leaving Nesta Marina, but we're actually leaving Watermead Country Park, Thermiston, and we're heading to Leicester. Saying goodbye to a beautiful Watermead Country Park, stunning. Whilst we were doing boaty things at the marina, I also prepped the crab apples ready to get a jam going while we're cruising today. Whilst we were at the marina, they also gave us for free this giant marrow that someone had been growing on their allotment. Wow, we're going to eat for weeks on that. The river saw that we're on was made navigable in the 18th century from Loughborough to the Trent. But it wasn't until the 19th century that actually it joined the Grand Union and the wider network and we are hoping to make it to the Grand Union in this vlog. Now we're on a bit of a mission because we have to try to get through a series of locks before the winter stoppages work takes place on them. As you can see here, there's quite a lot of work going on in the locks on the Leicester line. So normally we'd be staying at Leicester for longer, so unfortunately we can't this time. It's going to be a very quick stop and then we're going to try and find somewhere to moor on the other side of Leicester. So we're approaching our first lock. So India is going to do this lock all by herself. She's going to drive the boat in all by herself. So I'm just not going to say anything. She could do it. I know she could do it. But uh, she doesn't want me to film her while she's doing it. It's off-putting. But I'll film the boat. So uh, let's go. I'm not going to do or say anything. She doesn't know I'm filming her. <laughs> she does. Because our bow thrusters don't work anymore, you have to go and push your front out. Why is Teddy inching off? Okay. Oh, I don't, okay, you didn't know, did you? Oh my yourself? goodness, me not saying anything didn't last very long, did it? I'm a nightmare. Really well, she did it a bit fast. She did it perfectly, she didn't hit anything. That's amazing, that's amazing. So that's always a good sign when you leave a lock and you've still got the lock gates attached and you've not broken anything. That paddle is already broken. Really good job, End.
as we approach Belgrave the sun is just picking out the hint of autumn colour on the leaves and it's absolutely beautiful. Now I read a story about Belgrave, it used to be one of the ancient villages of Leicestershire but at the time it was called Murdgrave which translates in Old English to Martin's Grove. Now it was gifted to a Hugh de la Grandmanil as a reward for the fighting that he did alongside William the Conqueror in the Battle of Hastings. But of course Murdgrave has a completely different translation in French. So later, sometime later after 1086, it was renamed Belgrave, which means beautiful grove, and I'm sure that would have suited Hugh de la Grommenil much better. Oh, I suppose it's always an advantage to have webbed feet if you're a sea cadet. Now this is Leicester's Space Centre, but I'm just not going to have enough time to visit it unfortunately, but I would love to have gone. This area around Abbey Park used to be the site of Wolsey's knitwear works and a hosiery works. It was also a site of a tram depot. The Wolsey knitwear was so famous they actually made the underwear worn by Captain Scott and the Norwegian Roald Amundsen and their teams during the 1911 race to reach the South Pole. And then in 1919, Wolsey underwear was also supplied to Sir Ernest Shackleton. Incredible these buildings and their history. in a minute this jam and I've just read that I didn't read the instructions properly basically I didn't read the instructions actually that's more the truth I only read the ingredients it said you're supposed to pre-mix the jam and the sugar together before putting it in the little bread oven so I haven't done that so I think that might explain why I can smell underlining burning smell as this jam has been cooking When we tried the jam, it was so deliciously sweet and the bits of apple had gone like candied apple, but it was just too sweet for me, so India has taken it back with her. Then we arrived at the Castle Gardens, Secure Moorings and Leicester. We only had a brief stop here, ideally we'd have stayed for much longer. Uh, we only stayed for one night and it's a really lovely place to stay. There are so many unbelievably beautiful bridges across this stretch of water in Leicester.
But it wasn't long until we were out of the city and back in the countryside and onto the Leicester Line part of the Grand Union, where the bridges are not as big but they're still very beautiful. just gorgeous to be back on the canal it just I love the rivers I absolutely love the rivers but there's just some magic about the canal where you've got all the home overhanging trees and the little bridges and soon we'll be in single locks again yeah so it's just really lovely look at this colour oh that is stunning After drying the nettles, India sieved through the seeds. It's quite a long process, she's very patient. Uh, but actually she ended up with quite a lot of these nettle seeds. And they are so good for you. They're just like chia seeds, I think even better for you. And you just sprinkle them on meals, in porridge, whatever. So what has become of the marrow? Well, it has been seasoned and baked in the stove and then served with a garlic herby butter. It has been stir-fried with onions, peas and lemon and garlic and the noodles have been cooked on the stove as well so we have had a marrow stir-fry. And also it has been curried with red lentils and a jacket potato also cooked in the stove. <laughs> Come on this way, look. This field has been my favourite place to walk Zephyr this week. For a start, it smells absolutely gorgeous. It smells like your Sunday rose green should smell. Um, but there's just so much going on just here in this patch. I love it here. So these are what are called cover crops and basically their job is to put the nutrients and goodness back into the soil and there's a mixture of brassicas, radishes, legumes and goosefoot in this field. Not only are they going to feed the soil and make it better, they are also attracting a large amount of wildlife. I just love it.
Keep going under bridges and through the old lock gates, where the river finishes and the Leicester line awaits. Keep going like the marrow that occupies the plate, waiting till tomorrow is leaving it too late. Keep growing in the soil beneath where linnets fly, where the summer's toil did parch and crack and fry. Cover crops keep growing, glowing heads goose feet. Fix the earth for sowing the vegetables we eat.